order from the machine and get a bowl full of soup, meat, and a heap of toppings. This is a specialty seafood skemen dipping ramen restaurant within the ramen museum in Odaiba. But the area is really only a collection of ramen restaurants and not a museum. Oh, there's lemon in here too. Oh, is that sweet? Oh. Like a nice pot noodle. Mine was thin. What did you get? Ramen. Just the straight up ramen. Yeah. Is this still the seafood and pork broth? Yeah, I think it's the seafood. Okay. I see like a red, like the red parts. I think that's like a shrimp. Oh, okay. Like yeah, yeah. Mm. Very shrimpy. Oh, really? Yeah, like a strong shrimp flavor. I like that. You might not like Yemen, but it's a very strong shrimp. Oh, really? If you like shrimp, for seafood. Plate. Didn't I order one that had. Oh, you ordered the shrimp specifically? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did I order that? Because I don't think I like that. You should try your noodles. <laughs> try your noodles. Yeah. Myself. They're really thick. The noodles are really tasty. It's a nice, clean. Fresh, yeah. Sounds good at all. Don't try to be. Yeah. It's got the char flavor. I'd only recommend the dipping ramen restaurant if you love a strong seafood flavor, which really isn't my thing. But I loved the thick al dente noodles. Vegetables look so fresh. This kind of looks like a watermelon, one of these things. And here is oyakodon. Whoa. Look at that egg. Oh, I think mine's coming. Red beans, kororo, chicken, mushrooms. What is that? Oh, yeah! Wanting light and natural flavors, head over to the sunroom after shopping at Shibuya Ichimaru Q. Even though I ate my entire meal of small plates and a main dish, I still had lots of energy afterwards. This particular restaurant is in Shinjuku, but this Italian pasta chain is all over Tokyo. There is traditional pasta with tomatoes or cream, but you can also get Japanese versions with fish roe and seaweed. For those with a large appetite, you could order two bowls of pasta, which was amazing, but I was full from eating all day, so I opted for a lighter choice. That's so useful to have like that. Uh, like the flip screen. Yeah, I don't know. I had that so I can do that video. Yeah, I know. It'd be a lot easier, right? Yeah. Is the video on that pretty good? Yeah. Have you been testing it out? Yeah. Yeah. This is another chain, but a step up. Very dependable, delicious, and high quality pork cuts. Like right? mm -hmm. Serving portions are huge with miso soup, endless pickled vegetables, and cabbage. Our stomach was hungry, or our eyes were hungrier than our stomach. <laughs> the pork is thick, juicy, and oh so inhalable. Come here if you're really craving katsu and you want to grind your own sesame seeds to top them all. I'm supposed to take you that and put it on here. When you have a big group or family in tow, family restaurants like Saizeria are the way to go. Think Denny's or diners in the US. 
even your pickiest party members can choose what they want and shareable or non-shareable plates of comfort food favorites here. So after a long day of hunting for your favorite anime or video game figures, there is a food court on the 8th floor of Beat Kamara in Akihabara where everyone can choose from BBQ, omurice, pizza, etc. The beer is also on tap. to cook it to the amount you want it. Nice and fresh. Such a nice and relaxing, chill way to eat and recount the funness of the day. This is my hand on. Nidan Iroha is the way to go after you endure Takeshitori in Harajuku for a giant bowl of piping hot or cold udon. Customize your toppings or choose from many Japanese or Western styles of udon cuisine. Enjoy the throwback music and the relaxed vibe. I'm not getting that coat.